So now let's look at the first um, case of misinformation. There are going to be two different videos we're going to see from a physicist who is an astrophysicist who is very popular on television programs and you know series and, and being interviewed now because I think he's like the expert and his name is Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson. I have nothing against him, don't know the guy, he might be a very fine human being but either he has lost his intellect or he lacks critical thinking or he's confused or there's some conscious motivation I don't know but look at look at him talk about now about UFOs now let's just be clear before I show you this clip so UFO stands for unidentified flying object so anything flying that you don't know what it is is, is a technically a UFO but we all know what we're talking about we're not talking about a helicopter that's flying and it's going 150 miles per hour and I just can't quite see what it is. I'll call it a UFO. No, it's not what we're talking about. I'll give you a great example. Um, I'm a physician. Uh, anorexia nervosa is a psychiatric disorder where uh, young people, generally younger women, will starve themselves to death. Many times the people in the public will talk about, oh, this, my, my, you know, their, their daughter, their, 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 their spouse has anorexia. Now, as a medical doctor, anorexia means loss of appetite. Anorexia could be from having the flu. When somebody's sick with a virus, they lose their appetite. That's anorexia. Someone ate something bad, had food poisoning. They have no appetite, can't eat a thing. That's anorexia. There are a thousand things that can cause anorexia. But if you're talking about anorexia nervosa, and that's what everyone is talking about, then when someone in the public says anorexia, don't start saying, oh, well, there is no such... You can't just say anorexia because it's a virus and a virus and a flu. No, if the, if the topic is anorexia nervosa, then we know that even, even, if the, even if the public only says anorexia, they're talking about anorexia nervosa when that's the topic. We're talking about UFOs. We're talking about, about alien spacecraft. Alien craft that defy by orders of magnitude anything that humanity has ever been able to come even close to and things that humanity is not in any position now to even possibly do create or withstand. That's what we're talking about. Um, a few questions for Mr. Favor. As an expert naval aviator, have you ever seen an object that looked and moved like the Tic Tac UAP? No. Did the Tic Tac UAP move in such a way that defied the laws of physics? The way we understand them, yes. So now watch this video from an interview of uh, Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson. However, just think it through. If aliens cross the galaxy in whatever is their spaceship and arrived at Earth just to throw some balloons across North America, I'm thinking, really? Ali really? The best they've got are some floaties, cylindrical and octagonal floaties that any F-22 fighter jet can just knock out of the sky. Right. Is saying that the UFOs put out balloons that any of our jets could just shoot down. So what are we talking about? This is crazy. What he's talking about is there were cases over the last year where there were some Chinese balloons with spy equipment on them and they were floating along and they were unidentified. So technically there were an unidentified flying object, but they have nothing to do whatsoever with the alien spacecraft. They're doing these unbelievable things. Anyone who's speaking on the topic of UFOs has to have seen the following video, which is from, from U.S. military pilots who are tracking one of these alien objects, one of these UFOs. And I want you to listen to what the pilots say and see if you understand why Dr. Tyson talking about balloons is so ridiculous. And he, he has to have seen this video because this is one of the three videos that the United States military came out and said, these are legitimate, true videos. Look at the video, see if you pick it up. Oh, fleet of them, look on the ASA. Oh my gosh. They're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. Look at that thing, dude. That's not our LNS, though, is it? It's not. That is an LNS, dude. Well, if there's a good thing, it's rotating. 
I hope you picked up that part of the video about the balloons. The pilot says this thing is flying against the wind. All right, I'm gonna start that clip over. Here we go. Oh my gosh. They're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. How's a balloon move in the air? A balloon moves by the wind blowing it. If you take a hot air balloon ride, what the pilot does is he knows from information his data he's getting at what height the winds are, are going in which direction. And he goes up to those that level and, he, and the balloon floats with the wind. If he has to go in another direction, he finds out if, if he has to go lower or higher to get a wind that's going in the direction that he wants to get to. Balloons just float with the wind. I'm gonna show you the clip again. The pilot says it's flying against the wind and the wind is 120 miles per hour in the opposite direction. So the wind is going 120 miles per hour this way. Th this UFO is going that way. It's not a balloon. Look at the clip again. Oh my gosh. They're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. Why in the world is Dr. Tyson saying that these are alien balloons? The balloons he's talking about were Chinese balloons with um, spy equipment on them. It has nothing to do with these alien ships that our naval aviators, the ones who are f flying the, the, the fighter jets, are amazed at the speeds and the action that these things are doing. As we started clockwise towards the object, my wizard and I decided to go down and take a closer look with the other aircraft staying in high cover to observe both us and the Tic Tac. We proceeded around the circle about 90 degrees from the start of our descent, and the object, ob object suddenly shifted its longitudinal axis, aligned it with my aircraft, and began to climb. We continued down another 270 degrees, nose low, where the Tic Tac, or we consumed 270 degrees to where, the, and we went nose low to where the Tic Tac would have been. Our altitude at this point was about 15,000 feet, and the Tic Tac was about 12,000. As we pulled nose onto the object within about a half mile of it, it rapidly accelerated in front of us and disappeared. Our wingmen, roughly 8,000 feet above us, lost contact also. We immediately turned back to see where the whitewater was at, and it was gone also. So as you started to turn back towards the east, the controller came up and said, sir, you're not going to believe this, but that thing is at your cat point, roughly 60 miles away in less than a minute. You can calculate the speed. We returned to Nimitz. We were taking off our gear. We were talking to one of my crews that was getting ready to launch. We mentioned it to them. And they went out and luckily got the video that you see, that 90-second video. What you don't see is the radar tape that was never released, and we don't know where it's at, of the act of jamming that the object put on an APG-73 radar. What is Dr. Tyson thinking about? The thinking is off. It's highly inaccurate. He's, he's mixing two things together. People are talking about anorexia nervosa, and I say, oh, it could be the flu. They carry the word anorexia, but they're totally different topics. Um, we're talking about UFOs? Yeah. Until the Chinese balloons were identified as balloons, we didn't know what they were. But if you look at their flight characteristics, you know immediately they're not they're not going from 80,000 feet in the in the in outer space to just a, a a a few feet over the ocean in a fraction of a second at speeds that we we've, we've never seen, hovering over there for hours and taking off again. What is the reporter? or the interviewer not question him. I'll give a break to the reporters. They don't know, they're just reporting. They're reporting on UFOs this minute, next minute they'll be reporting on a fire somewhere or Ukraine or whatever. They're not experts in the field. Apparently, Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson is also not an expert in the field because he's completely mixed up two completely different things. Just think it through. Now let's go on to the next video of his. Another one, people say, oh, the aliens has a crash landing site over here. Really? Uh, the, once again, the aliens crossed the galaxy and crashed? 